Yes, well, our, our football team, we should be improved. You know, that's our objective is to get back where we were, which was on the top, and we haven't been there in 10 years. And uh, we think we're heading that direction. We made slight improvement last year. We must make, we must make improvement this year. Uh, offensively, we've got a bunch of them coming back. And uh, defensively, we've got uh, we, we lost more, we lost more heavily. Uh, biggest question mark would be in the secondary, where we lost three out of four starters. Lost lost the, probably the most valuable player we had in our kicker. But we signed a pretty good kicker out of uh, Texas. And uh, so in a way, uh, I, 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 if we stay healthy, I think we will be an improved football team. Coach, on the Miami game. I know the money and exposure is great, but is that a game you'd rather play later in the season? Well, I, th I think Miami and us both. I, I've never met this to Rick China, but I bet you he'd say the same thing. I'd rather not open with him. I, I don't think he'd rather open with me. You know, but, but, and so I, I, we, we already have another game scheduled for that day. But ABC and uh, the conference, everybody just wanted the game and just insisted that we play that game and uh, so we both decided to play it. Playing Labor Day is an offer, great opportunity for us both and uh, but uh, I think if you talk to both coaches we'd rather open uh, uh, the team not be strong. Extra exciting for the fans, the aspect of the game. You know, you know, and it's a, it's a great national game. I think, that, and that's why they won. It's, it's surprised me. Uh, but but uh, it, it has it has really uh, had a lot of exposure down through the years. I guess it was back during the late '80s and '90s when we were playing for the national championship all the time. You know, winner of that. The winner of that game seven times became national champions. Uh, uh, so the, the appeal evidently is still there. So anyway, that's why we're playing, man. Virginia Tech, uh, they seem that you know they end up at top. They end up on the top. Now we beat them last year, you know, but they ended up on the top and won the won the conference. They've done it what two of the last three, three out of five. Pretty not going good. Uh, and so they, uh, he, he's got a very strong program, and uh, but there are others that are capable of getting up there too. Right? It's tougher to it's tougher to get there now than when we first got in the conference. Much tougher to win the crown than it was when we got it. Why? Uh, everybody's gotten better, no doubt about it. I think they put they got Florida State in the ACC to try to improve the brand of football in the ACC. And I think every team in there has gotten better. You know, I mean, uh, we haven't had the success in the 2000s that we had in the in 1990s, where we won more games than anybody in the history of football in 10 years. We ain't come close to that after that. You know what? And I think a lot of it is not because we've gotten that bad, but the conference has gotten so much better that they're, they're, they're making us look bad. You know what? And of course, we haven't been quite as good either. Commissioner Swafford touched yesterday that this is not the best top to bottom, but they still need the one or two national contenders to get the respect. To we do. We, that, that is true. If Miami could get back where they were, and if we could get back where we were, you know what? And the others, uh, Virginia Tech, Boston College, uh, uh, and all the other teams just keep doing like they're doing. We, we, our conference would be as strong as anybody. Miami and us have not been the elite that we were the previous 20 years. You know what? We, we'll get back. Is that just it? We'll get back. Is that a to recruiting, just the balance? To, to me, it's recruiting. I mean, when I look at us, and I try to figure out why haven't we done as good as we did then? Well, of course, like I say, a lot of a lot of us coach that and conference has gotten better. But a lot of we, we have not done as good of evaluating personnel as we did back in those days. We're, we're doing a better job right now. We're beginning to get the player now.
much question of concern that how important is the camps like uh, showcase camp like the whole show time to getting recruits on able you had your camp four guys commit oh yeah well it, it's uh, it's been a good thing we've had it three years and uh, we well, this year we had over a hundred boys come and, uh, and like you say we had two or three four commitments out of it uh, it's 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 good it, it, it has been good it's been productive Bobby uh, are you resigned to losing this 14 out of your mind? No, I'm still thinking they'll yeah. come to their senses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really, they, they, they don't, they don't, somebody don't ever understand what's happening in this world. <laughs> you know, I mean, they're just going to kill a good dad gun competition. Because hmm. if they take those games away, that, 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 that game's over. You know what? Y'all don't have a darn thing to write about it. Talking about Joe. Yeah. yeah, you know if they if they take those games well, but they and they might do it. I I hope they don't. Uh, in the past, when they have uh, since Oklahoma and Georgia Tech, I think to that they changed their mind and went mm -hmm. back. So I'm hoping they'll do it again. But I don't. Know, you never know. And if they don't, how much would that bother you? The things. It won't bother me. It won't bother me one bit. I, really? I will not. Oh no, I, I don't live in doubt and stuff like that. You know, what? I mean, I'd love to have it. Right. I'd love for my children and my grandchildren to, to be able to say that's their old man. You know, but if it doesn't happen, I won't lose a drop. I won't lose a second of sleep. Over. I mean, if you told the university, don't bother fighting this, I'm okay with oh, it. Oh, I'm gonna tell them to fight like you know what. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust, but you can write that down. But uh, no, I want them to fight it all we work. Fight like all we work. And I'd fight it if I could. There's nothing I can do. But if it, but if we don't win it, I'll just. Uh, Except Alex. Now, of course, the NCAA is saying that you know that since players who cheated for spending wins, then you, the win shouldn't shouldn't count anymore. I mean, What's that see, now? Just, the NCAA is saying obviously that since players who cheated took part in these wins, the wins shouldn't count anymore. That's their standpoint. Well, we you suspended them. Hey, yeah. as soon as we spotted it, we turned ourselves in. Yeah. All right. As soon as we found out which kids involved, we spent them immediately. I don't know how they get that. You know what? Now, are they opening up a can of worms here? Does that mean next year when so-and-so uh, uh, -so state has a kid, middle of the season, gets caught cheating, they find out he cheated three weeks ago, they got to go back to spend up, they got to go back and forfeit all those games he played in? Man, they're opening up a can of worms. That'll happen to every school in the United States of America. You know, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't understand that. You know what? What did they do to the other students? I mean, what did they do to the other students? Gave them an F. They gave the players an F. That should be plenty. You took a course. You, you, you didn't do it correctly. You don't deserve to pass it. You get an F. I mean, all this other stuff. Well, if it wasn't athletes, it wouldn't happen, you know? And uh, I really think they ought to let the, uni let the universities handle their, their, their cheating and those things. Let the university handle it. That. That's their problem. That's not the NCAA's problem. It didn't help us win any ball games. In fact, I lost two out of the four. I suspended them, you know? And so, but, when, when, but before, but when, when they were part of those games that he won, you know, how big up? I mean, how big up? Did you look at it and say, well, I guess they contributed to? The we, we, we didn't. We, we didn't know they cheated. We we, we didn't know they cheated. Right. As soon as we spotted, we made a melted man. We we were, we were fixing to plant a bowl. We spent 25 guys from the bowl. You know. So I, I just. Uh, uh, well, when you look back on it, do you it's... think that those guys that those players would have helped you win those 14 games they want to take away from? Well, seven of them were starters. We might, I think we might have done better. <laughs> lost one of those games by seven, lost another by touchdown. Right, but I, guess, I guess the issue is not what happened after you suspended them, but what, what happened while they were cheating, while they were playing for your team. I guess that's what the NCAA wants to take those wins away because while they were cheating, they were playing for you and, 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 and helping you win. We didn't know they were cheating. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that it was academic fraud has anything to do with it. That's kind of the mortal sin in the NCAA. Academic fraud, it, it must be. That's the only thing I can see why they would do something like it. To them it is. So it's Oklahoma and I think the Georgia Tech cases are different. Than that. Yeah, they involved something else, didn't they? Now you've been to schools before where, you know, there's been a, 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 an image problem with the university and, and you had to uh, restore the image. Now you, you look at it again now the same way you've got to kind of you, you and the, the team and the program have to kind of uh, restore the image of the, of, the, of the program once again? Yeah, yeah life goes on. Life goes on. We're, we're not the only university that has uh, had something like this happen. That, I mean, it's happened. It'll happen again next year and next year and the next year and next year. 